Hey, Penny Fish. It is the 5th of June, 2018. And there is so much going on that, you know, I kind of just have to ramble to you here. But, you know, there's a lot of things that I see throughout my days in I kind of set tabs aside and things aside until it just comes upon me that there's something I should share. And this came upon me, and now I think I have something to share. <laughs> anyway, George H.W. is out of the hospital. That's good news, right? Well, I've talked about George H.W. Bush. Um, you know, most people should sh should be aware, I should say, but they're not. They They have no idea that his involvement in JFK's assassination as well as RFKs, um, are so provable that it's just ridiculous. 603-93 is what I see, because that is how old old George is. He's going to be turning 94. And I've explained how 93 is so incredibly important in their little world. It's their religion that they go by. 93 represents the sacred lost word of the Freemason. That's the layman uh, description of it. But it goes much deeper. And, you know, I don't get into this stuff as deep as I could. But this all ties into a great belief in the Enochian writings, okay? I know a lot of people are out there looking at Enoch and I have no qualm with that whatsoever. You take everything to the Holy Spirit, okay? Just, you know, always, always do it in prayer. That's all I can tell you. That's what I do. And I mean, I know I'm safe and secure. And Enoch has a, a very large role in, in the dark religions. He just does. The Enochian tablets, the Enochian arches, the Enochian... Uh, towers that it's it's riddled throughout their religion okay i'm just telling you that in 93 is a key number it's very uh magical let's say and that's it's because that's all this stuff is it's all just magic okay we could go through all the different uh, associations with it okay but I'm looking at it, and the way it's being shown to me is it's representing the number of the lost word of the Freemasons. That's what it represents. And that's what this guy is. And he's 93. And there's about to be a paradigm-changing event coming upon the Earth. That's what I'm seeing. Because five minutes after I saw this article here, this is how things happen to me, you guys. I see this article right here. <laughs> The end is nigh. And it's got the angry, you know, apparent Christian, uh, whatever he's supposed to portray. And it's all about their social justice. We're back to justice. Justify. It's incredible, you guys. It's just so wild and crazy. But, you know, there it is. And the, the connections that I see through this stuff are just mind-boggling. You know, I saw this article yesterday that uh, the United States is leading a NATO exercise in Poland and three other Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. And lo and behold, the last line here, Israel will be taking part for the first time. Why is that? They're not a NATO member. And if we look at the ties to NATO in its relationship to Israel, even though Israel has never been a member, well, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And it, and it ties right even into their emblem. Okay? This is, this is all the mystery religions. That's what it is. This is essentially just a, another representation of the tetragrammaton. <laughs> it's a polyhedral shape, like, and this is how they communicate. These are their little you know, symbols and signs. It just, it all it does is illustrate that we are seeing them, that the manifestation, that it's coming, it's getting closer and closer and closer. And they're talking about 18,000 troops right up against Russia, okay? 
Don't worry, it's not a provocation of Russia at all. And I see the six and the nine in the... Do you understand what I'm saying? The 369 is not getting away from me. It's just really prevalent. So it means something. You know what I mean? So we got that going on. And I hope to get into this NATO thing a little bit more in detail in this video. But I might not because I wanted to show you something else. If you remember the other day when I showed you this uh, sneak peek for that Israeli block party in Times Square, New York. Okay. And I played it through for you a little bit, but I'll do it again, you know, just so you can... I just want to show you something, because this is the kind of thing that comes upon my spirit to share with people. Now, when they when they showed this thing in this sneak peek, this is what we got three days prior to the block party, was a sneak peek. This is what they showed. Do you Now, this is what I showed before. The tidal wave and the single drop at 13 seconds, no less. Okay? Now, when they did the actual event in Times Square, and that's this right here. This was live. Okay? They're about to present this, this presentation that they did on the seven-story tall screens. Okay? When they, and watch right from the presentation of it straight through. And there is no longer the tidal wave in it, which I just find very interesting indeed. Hi. Do you believe? 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 Now, we could sit here and watch the whole thing. I'll link these, but no tidal wave. That just strikes me as extremely peculiar. And I think with good reason. You know what I'm saying? This is how they operate, you guys. Why omit the tidal wave there? And we saw it in the sneak peek. You understand where I'm coming from? So, that's one thing I wanted to clear up with you guys. And there are, again... I just don't know where to begin. The Times Square awash in blue, should I begin there? Um, I apologize for this because it really does get to be a great deal. But we could go back to NATO though, because NATO is a very interesting little organization. And they were founded on April the 4th, 1949, 69 years ago. And don't forget, you know, it's George Bush's birthday on the uh, 12th. So I'm focusing on the 12th. So I went back to the founding of NATO because that's just what comes upon me to do. And I went to the 12th, 4 1949 which is very interesting date in and of itself. The double 13s, 25, I'll get into that later. 25 is important. I'll get into that at another time. The 271, I see some people talking about that number, the gestation period, the nine months, I agree. Uh, the 69 years is definitely uh, an eye-opener for me, but what really gets me is if you look at these two months right here, that those are the months of, the, of April and May, and there were 30 days in April, 31 in May. So that's 61 right there, plus 8 is 69. So you're looking at a 69, 69. That's a NATO thing. And I just tell you that these things resonate in my spirit, and I know they represent something. They're showing us these dark powers and principalities and the no goodness they're up to, and we can know what to expect because God doesn't allow anything until he does. And that's why he shows us these things, just to keep us ready. You know what I mean? Because you got to be ready all the time, praying always. And we can go through a lot of other stuff too, you guys. This is nuts. 9-11-2011, Obama, Psalm 46, right? 2466 days, 
six years, nine months. Very interesting little numbers here. 24, I think of the blood of Jesus right away. The 24 elders, 46. That's the condition of mankind now. And 69 won't get there till the 15th is when that drill that the uh, Israelis are participating in ends on the 15th. So all these things just come falling into place and I see them and they strike me as something that I need to share with my brethren and even those of you who don't know Christ. Hopefully this will help you to maybe seek the truth a little more diligently because you'll only find the real truth, the capital T truth, through Jesus Christ. And please get this program. The link is in the description box and I always, always recommend that everybody has this. And I was going to show you something, but lo and behold, it has slipped my mind. <laughs> but anyway, there's some scripture I want to get into on this stuff too that's just unbelievable. But this is a little midday thing to get some of this stuff off of my plate. This Kentucky Derby that's coming up is just, uh, I'll tell you, I got a lot to say about this too. Again, it just piles up. Uh, I did want to share this with you too. Look what this jockey said. He asks him all these questions. It's an interview. All these silly questions until you get way, way down in here. And then he starts asking him some good questions. Do you have any superstitions? He asks him down here. Oh, let's see. Yeah, right here. No, he says, but I say a prayer before I ride, and that's it. The guy asks him, before every race you do that? He says, oh yeah. Every morning when I get up, when I go to sleep, before every race, throughout the day. I love it, man. This, this jockey, man, he's just my kind of guy. And then again, he asks him a couple more crazy questions, right? And then he gets down here, and he says, you've had a Hall of Fame career, do you... You, if you don't win a triple crown, I'm guessing it won't be unfulfilling. He says, I'm very blessed, man. I'm so happy with my career. I could stop right now and I wouldn't complain a bit. Just to get this opportunity is incredible. I feel very blessed. The Lord has blessed me and I'm going to make the most of it. And if it's meant to be, if it's his will, it'll be. I just like how this guy talks. I don't know him. But he's riding Justify, number seven. And they haven't drawn the numbers yet for this race. I think they might draw them today or tomorrow, tonight or something. And then we'll know what number Justify is going to be. And he's so far, he's drawn seven twice. And this is just connected everything. This is all supernatural, God speaking to us. I'm just telling you, that's what it is. And much much more to share with you guys i could just go through these numbers oh hey wait a second i want to show you something that was nato right there that was uh 9 11 2011 don't forget that's an important date too now this one here is just to illustrate the number of days it is until the 12th right and it could be 162 if you don't count that day all right or 163 but 162 days is a pretty wild number when it pertains to the 369 pattern I keep telling you guys about. Well, check this out real quick here. If you just take 162, okay, and you just go 3 times 6 times 9 equals 162. So that's another one to add on to that pile. Not to mention it's 23 weeks in a day, 3,888 hours, <laughs> 2332 <laughs> minutes. I'm just saying, you know, I see this stuff. I got to share it because I know it's God. Look at this. This one you guys are really going to get a kick out of. I don't even know why this came into my mind, but it did. Do you remember this right here? The new world currency coming, the Phoenix. This magazine came out on January 9th, 1988. And it's got the, the usual symbols. That symbol right there is the same thing we see everywhere. I mean, it's equivalent to taking, uh, 
say, you know, those sick jokes where somebody takes one hand and makes a circle with their thumb and forefinger, and then they take their uh, index finger and insert it, you know what I'm talking about, that's what that represents. January 9th, 1988, to the 12th, 11,113 days. I mean, really, I know it's just a number, but in my spirit, it's how we are able to see how they're working in the dark realms. And that goes right back to their religion, the Thelemic religions and all of it. And I tell you, I don't like going there, but it's relevant in how we see these people operate. In, in this one here, from the, uh, the great eclipse that we had last year, including the day, to the 12th is 296. And the reason was because after, that was 33 days before the great sign, and it's 9 months and 23 days, and it was on 923. It's 296. That, to me, again, I can't, you know, I can only tell you. It's a 911 in the 96, the 69, the 42 weeks. We could get into that, too. Uh, Antichrist numbers. I mean, all kinds of things. That's why I don't really dig in, and I'm never, ever going to tell you that these things mean exactly anything. I can't. I just know that they're put upon me to share them with you. You know what I mean? I mean, look at this. This is when Ron Wyatt discovered the Ark of the Covenant in Jerusalem. This is, this is when it was. And I went to the 9th not the 12th, because this number here, right? And the 9th is the day of the Belmont Stakes, where Justify will be running. But when I tell you that it fits together, look at all these articles I got. I just get so filled up with this stuff, you guys. I just don't know what to do with it half the time. But it's all real stuff, and it's all just showing us. That's my firm belief. Oh, and we can't forget 9-11, 2001 to the 12th, including that day, 6,119 days, 9-11, 69-11, it's just ridiculous to me, all right, and that's just the way I see it, so I guess that's it, you know, I just want to share with you that that God does show us these things and we know in our spirit that, that they are meaningful and they're just, they're just showing us the times we're in. They're showing us how close things are and they illustrate that this world is coming to an end in the sense that you're seeing the evil for what it is. You're seeing that part of this world that's been hidden from you to keep you pacified, more or less, to keep you from God and just make the deceit deeper and deeper and deeper. You see what I mean? Further and further from God. And now look around you. Look around you. It's Pride Month, don't you know? You understand what I mean? So, I hope this video blessed someone. But there it is. So, peace and grace to y'all, okay? Seek Jesus. That's the number one thing. A number one. First and foremost, and get your eSword download in the description box and read it. <laughs> Peace and grace to y'all. Many fit. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 